If you're going somewhere and you don't want anybody to know about it, it I, I think it's a little fishy. I mean, there's a lot of room in this northeast that, Georgia. That's a good right? point. I got, I'm not going anywhere that I don't want some that I, that I don't feel comfortable with the federal government knowing about. Yeah, if there's anyone I trust, they've got my government. DNA and my passport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Do they have your passport? Do they take the yes! document? Yes, they took his passport. He's a felon. I didn't know <laughs> the that. U.S. Was Marshals thing. took it when I turned myself in, and they don't give it back. Not until I'm off probation. I'm travel restricted. Well, Kyle, that, when you just... turned yourself in, did you do it like real cool, like where you just walked in? Jesus, like Taylor, look at your arms. Just, yeah. just walk in like that. Uh, that would be sick. He didn't and then crack you get on, a and fucking And then you get on your smile. fucking knees and no, then I did. just let him. You joke, I did you. it. Like, like I, when I walked in, I was like, I'm here to surrender. You know? And he, he just went right this way. Oh, that's not as funny as I thought it was. Mm. All right. Well, shit. Uh, fuck. And, you know, took my passport, took my DNA, and uh, and I don't remember. I think that's all he took. Did he use his mouth to take your DNA? Yeah, he sucked it out. <laughs> <laughs> he sucked it right out of my penis. He's and, one uh, of the right, now, now we're Obama doing vampires, motherfucker. Nah, he, uh, he did the little cheek swab. Uh, I've had right, to give DNA, like DNA a couple times now. <laughs> 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 you're, you know, you're I, just this will just take 20 minutes. <laughs> I'd have done this a long time ago if I don't know about you're going to need weekly samples, I hope. <laughs> oh, we, oh, the cup spilled. Oh, no. Kyle, when you when you got out of there, I assume, and I know because you've told me, you didn't beat off the whole time being I safe. Not. I didn't, I swear. When you got out of there, I know you fucked. But mm -hmm. how was that first beat off in freedom? It was wonderful. <laughs> it was almost, it, all of the things that you like to do in private are are so much sweeter once you have your privacy again. Yeah. Like like I've talked about it before. Like just using the bathroom, having my own toilet, my toilet to myself, my own shower, um, my own soap. Right. And when when I'm done with my shower, I don't have to put my soap in one of those plastic cups and then and then quickly dry off so I'm not mm -hmm. raped yeah, before I can get back to my cell. You know, like the quiet of being outside of a dorm full of a hundred felons, you know, just being in my house here at nighttime here. It's so quiet. Maybe a dog barks occasionally, but like if I turn everything off, it's like, you can hear your heartbeat almost. And it's in there. It's this constant hum. That's why I would mm -hmm. wear my headset so much in there and listen to like the radio or There's TV just or whatever. I think and, that and that white noise, nonstop noise would give me a baseline stress level that's higher than normal for me. Did Definitely. It have it? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Cause sometimes you'd hear people, people would like do that thing where like fake get mad at somebody. Like, 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 you oh, know, yeah, like, yeah. 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 And then yeah. they all but like slap each other. Is enough to stress you out. Then they all slap each other on the back and laugh about it or whatever. But I don't know these people. I don't know their personal relationships. I thought a fucking riot was about to break out, you know, uh -huh. like all, all sorts of stuff like that. People yelling, screaming, fucking laughing, jumping up and down, just just being obnoxious 20 almost 24 hours a day. At night the snoring was incredible. So it was just continuous noise. So being in the farting, the farting resonating it was so of those funny. concrete walls. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was just like eight guys snoring like as loud as you've ever heard a human being snore in your life. <laughs> like at least it, at me, I've heard you snore. I've, I've sure I, tell me I can compete with these gentlemen. You could compete with them. <laughs> <laughs> Eight or nine. He's like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. One, there was I can compete. <laughs> one guy who was like very ill and coughed and hacked all night. And like, I just remember one night he was coughing and hacking and it was so bad. He was just, he was just oh, oh, after the coughs, like, like, like it was like painful and like he couldn't catch his breath. And I just remember the black guy next to me going, that nigga said like he gonna die, and, just, <laughs> and like everybody started laughing. It was like, he, was, he was Chris Rock for a moment, <laughs> like, 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 like fifty guys. It's so quiet at night except for the farts and the snores that his voice carried over the walls, and like fifty guys lost their shit and started laughing because we're all listening to this guy. <laughs> yeah, thinking yeah. Like you can't not. God, he sounds it. like he's about to die. <laughs> 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 oh, you, you didn't say brother. Oh, no. <laughs> That's I, so funny. Soft yeah, yeah. It was, and I was, sure. and I was quoting a black man, he which does. makes it okay. It, I, I think it those does. are the rules. I'm curious, though. A little bit progressive. 
Did you? I, see, I, I love that part in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm when Larry is just quoting the awful thing that someone else said yeah. and just gets in so much trouble. Uh, it's, <laughs> in his own house with the people he's giving charity to. Yeah, he's in his own they house. They threatened to leave and accept they someone else's leave. charity. Did they? Okay, I always saw leave. the highlight. Yeah, yeah Boogie was about to pop in. Let's. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, do you still write your prison boyfriend when he gets out? Of <laughs> uh, um, I I, sh I shared my information with Snow. Uh, he wasn't my prison boyfriend, but he was my workout partner and uh, my protector. And, uh, uh, workout workout partner. Yeah, we yeah, became Kyle really good was friends. Working out the tensile strength of his asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Snow and I became really good friends. Uh, I did I did trade information with him, but. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to have contact with him. Like whenever I uh, I do this thing, I did it today even. Um, where like, you, I, it's called self-reporting. Where like I think like actual like hardcore violent felons, especially, they're they have to go meet their probation officer and like answer a lot of questions about mm. what they did this pre previous month. Maybe they get checked up on fairly regularly to make sure they're not up to no good. I go to a website and I I'm I'm like. No, I haven't had any guns this month. No, I haven't had any drugs this month. No, I haven't had any contact with any other felons this month. Um, no, none of my pertinent details have been altered. No, I don't have uh, a different mailing address. No, I don't have um, this or that. No, like, yes, this is still my car. Yes, it's still my address. Yes, it's still my phone number and email. Submit. And like, that's basically the only thing that i do other than the random drug test that i have no to, like, drugs or guns for an entire month why why even be free at that point <laughs> for, 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 for forever so, so you can't contact other felons i don't think so I'm, I'm not supposed to have any contact with them. i think that's probably frowned upon it, no, but there's yeah, a, because felons yeah. make up a chunk of our population like yeah they're not talking about bumping into the the guy at the gas station they're talking about like getting your old gang back together right, and right. i was more like, robbery. Getting the gang back I, together. I, I you might have known if you might have had a felon in your you know in the edges of your life before this whole incident sure and maybe there's a way around that you know uh -huh. it's one of those things it seems to me that like if you talk to them and explain what's going on like yeah you know it's whatever i gotta believe yeah. is it chuck the alcoholic Chuck, yeah, yeah, he's probably a felon. I don't think he is. I, don't, I think he's he's a he's a misdemeanor, uh, serial yeah. misdemeanor. Like I said last week, he was numbers. in jail with me. Uh, he's he's got to pump up those a, numbers. A bit of a loiterer. He was literally <laughs> in jail with me when I got arrested. That it was hilarious. Like I just Wait, remember them. I thought that was a joke. No, I swear to God. No, I was <laughs> in jail. I'd been in jail for a day or maybe two, and they wheel Chuck in in a wheelchair, his foot all in a cast, and I'm like. Chuck? Hey, man, what's going on? <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? I, I don't remember what he did. Writing bad checks or something. Man, like this that. is a psyop to get you comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember eating that egg salad. Now I get free health sandwich all over his face. Jail sucks. Prison's, <laughs> prison's no fun. Jail <laughs> sucks. Like, like, like. People think oh. they're synonyms. I'm not sure I understand the difference. So Okay, so if you get arrested tonight for a DUI, they take you to jail. Okay. If a judge says, 50 years, you go to prison. <laughs> That's the difference. There are state prisons and federal prisons. I went to federal prison because I was convicted on a federal level. Um, and so those are the differences. Jail is like temporary holding most of the time. Or if you're sentenced within a, local, uh, a locality, like a county or a city. If you get sentenced for by your local judge, like right there in your city, in your town for whatever, DUI or uh, petty theft, he can give you 30 days in the county jail. And that's like wherever you're from, Franklin County, Georgia jail. And that's where I was. I was in the Franklin County, Georgia jail. And it is awful. I have a theory. Do you think that prison is not as bad because people have had time to stabilize and like, whereas jail people are coming and going and they don't match. Go ahead. No. Why, tell me what you know. Everything is worse. The living conditions are meant for temporary <laughs> stay in, in jail for one thing, or at least short term prison. It's like, this might be the rest of your life. So you've got sort of a bed. I mean, not really, but it's so much better than the jail bed, the jail bed. It's a flat piece of steel with a thin little pad on it. The prison bed. I had like a, uh, uh, it's like a, a metal square with, with like yeah, springs in it. It, it. It's just the springs and a thick pad. 
in jail, everyone gets their own bed. In on TV, they're like in a cell with benches along the sides. Benches. Oh, so that. All right. So that's a holding cell. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's not. That's in a jail, but they're not being held there for more. That that's until they get booked or released. That's okay. just a holding cell. Jail are pods with like communal living where everybody's in a big fucking room with bunk beds. And like, there's a ta- there's a couple tables and a television. That's how I, that's, uh, that Jail was my situation. Was where you realized there was a pedophile in there with you and you yeah, a latched on to everyone else being like, look at that fucking child pedophile. Fuck yeah. You. Yeah. Hey, we were all in there for like drugs. It was it. That was it. Everybody was there for drugs. And then uh, Respectable maybe petty crimes. theft. Yeah. And then one kitty did nonviolent. No one got hurt crimes. You know, ah, this guy smoked some meth. This guy smoked some weed. This guy had a blunt. This guy uh, that, you know, didn't show up for his probation thing. He, he violated his pro- they whatever. Were all nonviolent? People do violent stuff. Every, everybody that I saw was nonviolent okay. in, in, in the jail. You know, not the, and, and then there's the pedophile. There he is. And we're all just like, Let's, I don't like that at all. Yeah, I don't like it either. I think we might have to do something. I'm just, yeah, we might have to. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> I want out. I just I wonder what sucked. the pedophile did. He uh they caught him in it. He was he was like um working as a plumber, mm-hmm. but like not like don't think Roto Rooter. Like someone hired him to come do some plumbing <laughs> work at their, someone hired him to come do some plumbing work at their home and they caught him in the bathroom with their like eight year old daughter with wow. her pants down, I guess. Wow. And uh yeah, so I was surprised. He was a little beat up. I was surprised he made it because you Dude, could beat this I guy to death. if I were king of our country, oh. that guy wouldn't get a chance in jail. I benefited yeah. the doubt way too much. I was like, well, maybe he had some pictures on his hard drive or something. Uh, uh, you know, maybe, yeah, but he's in him going, yeah, dude. <laughs> maybe it was. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking love that 11-year-old. I like actually thought pedo. maybe it was child anime porn. Like, why did I go there? Like, he's that innocent. There were no humans. Because you're Mr. Benefit of the Doubt. <laughs> I have a problem that way. Yeah, it's not. You make a gr- I wish you were my judge. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have gotten like, like, Judge Woodworth, you know. I'm pretty sure someone planted the, those that marijuana on me. You're like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Trouble before, <laughs> no, and I'm kind of famous on the internet. People are always sending me things. Wow, why are you not guilty? Not guilty. <laughs> if you, I were you the judge, be ashamed you'd of yourself for bringing this before me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just assumed. It, it, I even thought there was a fair chance it was next case. Draw yes, this child is the case porn. of Rapey McRaperson. <laughs> <laughs> How are you did, doing, my did friend? She, did she really say she didn't want it? How short was her <laughs> Case skirt? Case dismissed. <laughs> she was asking for it, Mr. Woodworth. <laughs> well, Man, not she literally. was coming up to me and saying, this hole needs filled. And I was like, I'm the only man around to take care of the job. <laughs> You know, when you put me in jail for this, it's kind of a little bit racist, yeah? <laughs> a little bit so. Yeah. You're going to put Danny Trejo in jail for fucking a 19-year-old? You know, I was a 19-year-old who turned out to be an 11-year-old. Oh, Jesus Christ. She was so developed, man. I was like, these titties don't say 14. (laughs) 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 They say 34 double D. Welcome to men writing women badly. (laughs) (laughs) Man, that's the fucking way that goes. (laughs) That's what it is. So, yeah, yeah. Jail is horrific. Uh, Prison is no fun. 